Ellie, what's your fashion mantra? Uh, okay, my fashion mantra, you know, I'm, I'm someone who I always wear what I feel comfortable in and I'm very comfortable in like leggings or like uh, jumpsuits or just like, um, um, you know, a very comfortable, stretchable um, dress, like a long dress, you know, which you just, you just feel so comfortable wearing it, especially like in Mumbai, you know, because of the weather, it, I mean, we have so much of humidity and it hot, so then wearing jeans not because i love wearing jeans i have lots of them but it doesn't happen so often here because i feel it uh, somehow you feel like you you can't breathe you know uh so so th yeah i mean and and basically like my fashion mentor would be that you know always wear what you feel comfortable in you know because then you will be yourself easier because you know if you're wearing something you're not comfortable in then somehow when you want to react in a certain way you will always kind of like um, hold yourself back because you're thinking of the outfit you're wearing and you're not really feeling comfortable and that somehow kind of shows then, you know. Uh, so you should be more free and like be freely. Right. So are you brand conscious? No. No, I, I've never been brand conscious, so if you honestly get a speaking. So go on street and shop, would you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I've always been that if I find something that I love and I feel it looks very nice on me and I'm comfortable in wearing it, I'll buy it. So I have never been that, you know, no, it only has to be this brand or, oh, this is some, some t-shirt from a market and I don't wear market clothes. Like, no, not at all. I'm not like that. Not at all. Okay, what are your five wardrobe must-haves? Uh, leggings and um, shoes, I'm crazy about shoes, um, ganjis, t-shirts, and um, sweatshirts, yeah. Comfort or style, what do you prefer? A comfort, comfort, I prefer. Of course, I love style, but you know, comfort again, you know, like I said, you have to be, you have to feel comfortable in what you're wearing, because even if you, um, I mean, I have experienced it myself when I have worn something because I've loved it so much, but maybe I haven't felt really comfortable in it, and then I, but I've still worn it. But then I have just um, experienced how it somehow, it, it distracts you from just being relaxed and being here and now, you know, because you're constantly thinking of, okay, I have to fix this and I have to fix that, and oh my God, is it looking or something, you know? And then you're not being here. So, yeah, that's why I'd rather say just wear something comfortable and just be amazing the way you are. Five things you never leave your house without. A mobile phone. Ghar ka chabi. I think uh, kajal. Lip gloss. As in lip balm, not lip gloss. Pani ka bottle. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and last but not the least, we want to know how do you maintain your body and your grey skin? Uh, how do I maintain it? I, I believe by, you know, I, I stick to my, to my routines, you know. Um, like um, in the mornings, I always go for my yoga and then, you know, um, I always make sure to have my breakfast because breakfast is something like it's it's the most important meal you know of the day then of course i have my lunch and dinner and snacks and all but sometimes because of the shooting schedules you know it gets a little bit like uh pushed here and there uh but then i always make sure to take care of it um and try to eat on the specific time where you should eat um definitely not eating my dinner like late nights like you know 9.30, 10 ish. No, I always have my dinner at least by 7 38. Um, yeah, because it's not good to have your dinner just like before you're going to sleep. Um, and uh, like what I've said, like now for 2017, I said that um, I will stick even more to my discipline and irrespective of what will be happening, you know, some events or parties or dinners and all. At 10.30, I'm sorry, but I'm sleeping and I will really stick to it. And I have done that um, until date, actually, except for when I 
went to film fair, got a little bit late. Um, but uh, otherwise, I really, I've decided I want to stick to it now because that is what uh, makes you maintain your, your good health, you know. Um, yeah, and, it, and it's great to keep uh, that kind of a lifestyle, you know. You, you'll see the change yourself if you will try it. Yeah, so yeah. sleep early, get up early, work hard and smile. <laughs> For latest on fashion and style, stay tuned to Style Talkies.